some light beams uh, I hope you like my last tutorial even though I wasn't speaking and it didn't upload to any mobile phones which I apologize because I realized that the music I was chosen for the last tutorial was copyrighted and it would only do it on PC so hopefully this one has come down through to your phones only time will tell now okay I've recently posted a picture up on Instagram of this image and it has light rays coming through the trees from the sun that's back up here and as you can see they're not there in this picture and I've added them I added them using Photoshop so I thought I would show you how I've achieved that but before I did I've took this into Lightroom 4 and I wanted to do uh, a shot that's really showed off autumn so because it's still quite green here even though there are quite a few autumn leaves falling to the ground I wanted to highlight the autumn effect more and by doing that I thought I would desaturate all the colours but the orange so I did this in Lightroom once I've uploaded it and all I've done was just tweaked around with a few of the settings but with the colours I've just desaturated all of the colours apart from the orange just so I can keep the orange leaves in full effect for this picture uh, once I've done that I've saved it and I'll upload it into Photoshop and there it is I upload it into Photoshop and there it is right okay so now let's start to add some rays to this picture I'm going to do it fairly quickly I'll take a lot more time normally like I did with the last picture when I uploaded it uh, but this is just for a tutorial so I'll do it as quick as I can hope you can stay with me okay so first thing we need to do we need to create a layer uh, we need to go up to the polygonal lasso tool and we start to think where the sun beams would come through on these trees and it would be in these gaps so we're going to fill these gaps with this tool thinking that this is a light beam coming through and then it comes through it spread slightly so we're going to go for something like that down here up there so take your time a bit more on this one I'm just doing it quickly just to show you and that's it okay so that'll be that we'll fill this now with white this is going to be our first light beam so what I want to do now is to grab the paint bucket tool and I want to make sure that this is white which it is and we OK it and fill and now that's the beam now all fully white clearly we can't keep to this because we need to make sure that the opacity comes down quite a lot so it could be more transparent so we'll just take down the, the opacity and have a look yeah that looks pretty good uh, for about 30, 31 yeah we'll stick to that, we can change it later if we need be once we've done the other rays um, we'll press command D to deselect that clearly the edges are quite sharp and with some rays it will be a lot softer than that so we need to make those edges a lot softer so to do that we will go to um, filter go down to blur Gaussian blur and we want to make that look softer which as you see there it's gone a lot softer which is looking nice so there's, that's what I've used we'll okay that and that looks good also with light when it comes through it doesn't stay the same opacity all the way it starts fading when it gets further and further away so we need to do a, f uh, a fading effect towards the end of the ray and to achieve this we need to do um, we add a layer mask to this and we'll use our transparent tool which is where are you gradient tool there it is make sure this setting up here is from black to transparent and just hold down here push a straight line like along with the ray and yep like that there you go that looks pretty good Uh, now that seems to be achieved quite well and now we need to do the same effect to each gap a 
along here just to make it more of a, a 3D image so it's not just too flat. So it's just exactly the same process we've just done for this one, you do exactly the same for these. So again I'll do this pretty quickly, hoping I don't make a mistake and do something I shouldn't be doing. Okay, again, got the tool, get that up here, and light will come through there, and down here. Fill it with white, so I get the paint tool, make sure white selected, yes it is, and fill it, yes, command D to deselect, do the opacity down to about there, um, and let's put, let's make sure that blurs the edges, a blur, Gaussian blur, Okay, so we'll put the opacity down a little bit more. Put another layer onto that. We need to do the transparent tool. Gradient tool, keep going transparent tool, gradient tool. Yep, go for there. And let's have a look. Yeah, we're just, we're just, I'm just going to do one more, one more here, and then that will be about it. So add another. Add them together. Yep. Fill it with white, so the paint tool, make sure white selected, yep, fill, command D to deselect, opacity we're going to go down to about, we're going to about 90 and see what that looks like, let's get the blur effect in, blur, Gaussian blur, Just going to come down a little bit more onto that one. Uh, gradient tool, so let's add, um, yeah, let's add a, a layer mask to that. Uh, back to the gradient tool. Gradient tool, yep. Yeah, so that, that's looking pretty good. Uh, so I'll normally take a little bit more time over that. That's what I've done if you see, if you look on Instagram and look at SB Photography 2012, you'll see my image that I, I've done, which I took a lot of, little bit more time and care over it. But you can get the general idea with this. And I also added a um, bit, of, bit of a more of a colour effect. Um, went to colour balance and I just up the red a little and gave a little bit more yellow just to give that a little bit more warmth colour like it's so it's more in autumn yep um, yeah that's it with that yeah I'm happy with that so what we'll do now is let's flatten the image and there it is the end result now got an autumn feeling picture with some rays coming through which weren't there before. Um, you can see on this. And there you go. Simple as that. So yeah, have a go. Let me know what you think to the tutorial. If you have any questions, just post them. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and um, have a lovely day. Thanks for listening. Ta-da.